All right, before we start the uh, predictions, which is what you came here for, I'm a jackass. I could have made a video out of that DVD I got mail yesterday because I forgot that earlier in the day at a yard sale I got two other DVDs. What I did like an idiot is I put them on my DVD shelf and just completely forgot about them. So what I could have done is I could have already opened that one up I made a, uh, a DVD update with the three DVDs. But no, I decided to be a jackass and put them on the shelf and forget about them. So, um, but anyways, before work yesterday, I, I dropped on into a yard sale. It was right across the street, ironically. And I got two WWE DVDs, 50 cents each. Now, what's amazing about this first one here, it's the Ultimate Ric Flair collection. I received it in a trade, and it had a lot of wear and tear and rips and shit. This one's in perfect condition. Looks like it was never even touched. Zero rips. Zero wear and tear. Looks awesome. Has the insert, unlike the other one did. And all discs are in perfect shape. I assume I didn't check. Couple fingerprints, whatever. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect condition. That has a few fingerprints. Those can be wiped off. 50 cents. And the other one, which is another very good find. Um, I have the two disc version of this, which is the FYE exclusive flight edition. Now I have the one disc version, so I have both of the Self Destruction and the Ultimate Warrior. Absolutely perfect. Looks like it was never even watched. So yeah, it has the insert in the 2005-2006 pay-per-view events, whatever. But overall, awesomeness out of that. So now I can trade that other flare one. But let's get into the versions for the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Looks decent, not gonna lie. Um, our truth was King Bear to start the show, whatever. Um, I, I, I'm, I think Barrett's winning. Because, um, I think they're going to do something big with Barrett soon. Either that or, or honestly, I don't know. Go well, either way. Or our truth could win to redeem himself for looking like a jackass on a rod, which is pretty fucking funny, by the way. Um, Ryback versus Big Show from the Ohio Championship. Hopefully this is good. It does not look good. But, um, Ryback's winning this. He ain't losing the IC belt just yet. They're gonna, they're doing something with Ryback for a change. Holy shit. Uh, New Day versus Primetime Players. Um, I think the, I think the New Day are, is gonna hold the tag titles for a long time, to be honest. Which, um, I don't mind in a way, but I don't really like them, so, I don't know. Obviously, I hope the primetime players win. It's going to be good, but it would be better if Kofi Kingston was in this match, which he's not. It's just going to be Big E and Xavier Woods, but I still think it'll be good, though. Um, yeah, primetime players are awesome. The school, uh, IWF school that I trained at for wrestling... That I did the clinic at. Uh, Darren Young trained there. So that's pretty badass. But that's an unrelated story. I don't know why I'm rambling. Um, what's next? Money and Bank ladder match. Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns versus Dolph Ziggler versus Sheamus versus Neville versus Kofi versus Kane. There's no way Roman's losing this. It would not make any sense for, for any of the other guys to win it. This is... Well, actually, in a way, yeah. It's, it's a guarantee that Roman Reigns is winning this match. The only two people I would even remotely see winning this, but by seeing it, it's very, 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 very unlikely, would be Kane and Sheamus. Sheamus, because he's a heel. And, you know, I think I could see them doing that. Or Kane, because, you know, the whole thing with Rollins right now. But, I mean, 
the chances of either of those are super duper duper slim. So, you know, my mind will be blown if they went any other way. But, you know, Roman's picking this one up. Uh, Nikki Bell versus Paige for the Divas Championship for the... Just like John Cena and Randy Orton, I think they're tied with most of the matches with 579 and 69 thirds each. Nikki's winning it. Nikki's holding it. Forever. I think they're going to have her beat AJ Lee with longest title reign, you know, just cause. By the way, yesterday, happy one year anniversary, AJ and Punk. Um, John Cena versus Kevin Owens. Uh, this will be the rare instance where somebody beats John Cena two matches in a row. Um, and that will be Kevin Owens picking up the win. And, you know, it's going to be fucking awesome. Get the champagne. And Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. I think this is going to be the end of uh, Dean Ambrose's title pursuit, and he will finally win the championship. It's very likely that um, he won't, but I think he will. Go on a long shot and go on a limb and say Dean Ambrose wins the title. And that's all I have to say for the predictions. Um, I'm missing Game 5 of the NBA Finals for this. This better be fucking good. But anyways, guys, take care.